There are many lessons we can learn from Nana Kajija. One of these lessons is a human's wisdom when choosing a partner or a spouse. There is no way in the Quran or Hadith which says um, a woman cannot propose to a man or a, a man is supposed to propose to a woman. All these things are cultures. Um, that is why these days women always sit or wait for men to come and propose to them. And this should not be the case. As a woman, if you see a man and you are interested to, in him due to his qualities, behaviors, or his deen, it is a good thing you go, you, you talk to him. Oh, so, so, and so, I'm interested in you, and I would like us to get married. It is a good thing. It's not harm, it is not haram. Because even the beloved wife of the Prophet Sallallahu was Wasallam did the same thing. So there is no harm in that. There are many lessons. And even regarding this, we can see that um, the wife of this thing, Moses, that was Salam Safura, when she was going to choose the, the husband, or when she was going to ask the, the father to pick Musa in or to take Musa as their worker or something, she, she rather looked at him with, she or she, the reason why she chose him was because of his character. So in Surah al verse 26, she said, um, it reads that, call it Ihdahuma, ya abati istahjiru, ya abati istahjiru, inna khayru man istahjarta al-kawiyu al-amin. Meaning, oh my father. Or one of them said, oh my father, engage him on wages. Truly the best of men for you to employ is a man who is strong and trustworthy. So strong and trustworthy. These are the qualities she she emphasized for her father, and the qualities which was the reason why she told her father to take him as or she should, he should employ him as their worker. So we see, as a woman, when choosing a husband, you shouldn't fancy these worldly things like if he is rich, how is he having a car? Is he handsome or like? All these things these days we are do, we are work, we are looking at in a man before we 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 accept his proposal or we accept his we accept to marry him. We should it shouldn't be that way. The, we have to take the wife of the prophet as example. The wife of all the prophets as example. They chose they accepted their husbands as due to their qualities because almost all the prophets were shepherds. They were not rich. They were poor except some of them and the prophet's wives also chose them due to their qualities and characters and they live the, they spend the most happiest time with them and they live the most happiest life ever even the wives of the sahabas and the rest we should take examples from them we shouldn't be taking example from these modern musicians and these worldly ladies like a bunny and when the share and the rest we should take we have to read a lot about this matters of the believers Hadija bin to Aisha I see the wife of the um, Pharaoh and many others we have to take examples from them because even Allah said they are our mothers and as our mothers we should take example from them we shouldn't take example from these people who will not give us any benefits but will rather cause harm to us both in this world and the year after. Again, the Prophet Wasallam, one of the Prophet Wasallam said, when someone comes to seek your daughter's hand in marriage and you are okay with the person's religion, you are okay with the person's religion and character, then you should marry her off to him. If not, you will cause disaster. It is a hadith, Sahih Buhari hadith. And in this hadith, what you should learn is the Prophet if someone comes to a father or someone comes to a guardian to and seek for the person's daughter or the guardian's hands in marriage, the person should check the person's character and religion. The, the Prophet did not say he should check his beauty, he should check his wealth or you should check any other thing. He said you should check his religion, which is Islam and character. The person's character because that is what is best. That is what will earn the person's that is what will earn your daughter or your guardian's um gender or even that will, what that is what will make her like precious and pious in this world.
So it's um, we have to take this in particular. Um, I'm talking to our fathers out there. When someone comes to ask for our daughters in marriage, we shouldn't be particular about the person's this thing wealth or the person's um, this thing beauty or something. We should we should rather investigate the person's money. Where um, no the person's character, the person's religion, because for wealth it is from Allah, and even after the marriage, Allah can bestow you or can grant you wealth. So you shouldn't be you shouldn't always think about is the person rich is the kind of person support or something like those things we should always consider the person's religion and character inshallah and then another lesson we can learn from nana kadija is a woman should be supportive to her husband nana kadija she really helped and support the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam throughout their marriage life and regarding this, even the um, Allah revealed to um, some okay, Allah revealed to this word to Doha, verse six to eight. It reads, Alam yadi ma fa awa, wajale ke dara ilam fa ada, wajale ke an ilam fa abina. There are some narration or some some of the Mufassir say this verse is related to Nana Kadija, because for it is true and real that. The Prophet was an orphan, was a servant, and then Allah raised him. He married a, um, a businesswoman who was very rich through their marriage, who was also, um, they gave birth to offsprings, and offsprings too are also this thing, wealth, and this thing, it is, oh, it is also wealth. So we can say through their marriage, Allah bestowed him with wealth in terms of money, and also he bestowed him wealth in terms of pious and beautiful children and also he was an orphan alone his uncle even passed away and his father passed away his grandfather passed away he was with his uncle alone so as an orphan allah gave him a, pi a partner who is very pious and noble so she also became a great support to him he, he wasn't alone again he had a support even though it is not a father or a mother but still a partner or a wife who supported him throughout his life okay uh, in, in conclusion and sunny ever conclusion and so you die a homer yeah by now malama my dear mustafa wa conclude be be my you are watching the show live, our mom online, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, and a Snapchat, and we have video version. Name on radio, Nidia, call Play Store, and search Mom Radio 1. Mom Radio 1. Download the app on the phone. Then you press on play. Ubi Timi Ati and can't live. You media ED, you have a lot of people. You run it 24-7. Sana yeba tuwe jumedi nisu yimcha ya humra sima yaba na malama boni tofa mai ni asori. Wallahi, al jannah tu fidaus is our limit. Insha Allah. Amen. Nam, baby ya ukan ya, eh, hoya mi deno se. Yeah man, um bear me be na or many edge no one. They shouldn't wait. They yes. should propose. Yes. It's Islamically accepted. Yes. Oh fine. Uh, nice, but na Ustas. Uh, we next question dear Metwa Bawan Sana Malamabem. Na se Bema wohuna we need genohono. Or ye married ma ware bako cream when you aware bako. Unsu we need genu a person ka oko kana yere no. And no su bit me a propose. And from Subi, anyway, you say, Now, the friend is saying, No, you don't know. And say, or and so and so I need be and you are seeing any and 
nti emehu from so bia wo ana yire no ba kokura ka se nka wo nware em se ne wo fa so se ni sister dimpo na ne bika se enye yi ebra wo no wo ho ne de nti weche se na ma no mo ho de mu wo nti ase ba fa sa ade no okay emehu from so bia de wo nti enye se ni pa no nware nko ana obitimi ase ne pe wa ware kura obitimi alobi ya o se ya na ye hwe among for tradition ya na ye jai islam no ni nsema wo ka no eh de mi hu ni se eti se me topic ya spiritual transaction na business no se wo dwene wo islam ho kwansi wo ka se be ma wo oba wo heaven wo wo kunu chen no eni se me hwe kunu bi a me nya je na wo ni chen oh okay e kuna we religious e kuna enam ne so be ma de because e si ko ofisa ko hali ko na ye nya kuna obitimi aye de aboy ho ban afrigun semjem si e ko hwe e wi ase ho nya de ni ade ade na e wi ye no e kuna we nya kuna papa na me ko semjem fa so be na binya ye e kuna wo scan so ni source of income no ko hwe be bi fri e ye juju e ye kuna no aban sika ni ade se ya hwe we no nyina na ye ntu su papa ye deliberate kura be ma be ma ya din na e be se wa wari mi enu mi en sana u yo ba na obi propose wa kire no o ye adwuma legitimate o ye religious na me nya me she me wo ho dia it is better than u bi o won wari ya e better that because se we sing the nase me fa se ni suba nya ni ma ko yi ahwa me yira me heaven fa so be na wo se me ko ji okay 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 bala wo ka se me se fa chame sa sing it sing it na aye kama se obenya sing it where the diabetic kakra but and you say then tin am to so ya abuso then tin am pe single no say a time we be was single but we need time for a bigro but we want to be a few do no yamba no yes 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 and you but an abam say you be was single no abe yes single to hear no ya me we mo mo ya na expectation no na say the age no no ya nsu sun ko because ya me ni nim say single no we nim ibi suban o che de na wo hwe no wo side no wo hwe mu ba kokura wo side nya nso no e single yes 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 ha we die eh chami a woni ma sem kan se nana wo sumu a sister e da se wo won che bi a na se bi bi a di twa to a insha allah bit me a drop na yes e fu tu bi a di ma sisters any o mo e ti fu o mo share o life insha allah i would like to conclude to my beloved sisters out there that we should like what is happening today in like all over the world is really not um, is is contradicting to islam mm-hmm. because today we see a lot of our ladies we don't take examples from these mothers of the believers and we don't like we see sometimes we even see them as what they they did as weird because like proposing to a man like this a lady will see it as a very weird thing you know someone who is even far better than you more noble more pure than you she proposed to the prophet yes. she proposed yes. to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so you are nothing and the, we are not after this world we shouldn't be after this world we should be after our hereafter like has he said um, proposing to a man who is married some people will, will not propose to him or will, or will not get married will not propose marriage to someone who is married but yeah. they can have maybe a dating affair with him like boyfriend girlfriend yes saying he is married so i cannot get um, i cannot come and join his wife because but you i can't like go straight him. away to him yeah, yeah, if can. he accepts then he marries you as a second or third yes. wife and it is even good because allah has has what has made it um halal yes in the quran it is there you can mar- the men can marry one a two three four so you can you, and whatever allah has made whatever your maker has made it allah you 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 are no one to make it haram okay so to my ladies out there too i would like to say they shouldn't be taking examples from these for, foreign or western people who says um it should, it should be one there is you should say no to polygamy or a woman you should be you have your own and islam is they always try to pollute our mind that islam is is trying to like Um, um, oppress, oppress women, women and the rest like islam is a feminist religion i can see because like, there, there is this thing circulating the women, in the, the media. women have more advantage yes there is this thing circulating in the media saying 
like um, because women are so precious in the religion, that's why even there is a surah called Surah in Nisa. And yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the men do not have it. Yeah, and <laughs> there is nothing like Surah the Rijal in the no, Quran. No, no. So women, we are very precious in Islam. And a woman, you are very precious because when a woman is born, it is a really uh, it is a reason for her father to enter Jannah. When she is married, she completes half of her uh, husband's religion. No. And when she becomes a mother, to Jannah is under her feet. Love so her. a woman is very precious, and Islam is. Uh, feminist religion because it gives high status to women okay. so we should always consider this our religion first well, before yes. this western this thing yes. we shouldn't make this western people pollute our mind and ladies should those who are in marriages should also give way for their sisters who are single yes. to, <laughs> also to join them <laughs> yes. and then enjoy <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay. Yes. Salam al Muslimin Foundation Ghana. We are a charity organization that provides food, clothing, education, housing, and a lot more to the needy. Poor, orphans, aged, and widows in various homes, villages, and towns across Ghana. Donate to us in the name of Allah. You can help us with food, clothes, cleaning, and building materials to take care of the orphans in Ghana and the world. You can find us at First Floor Quadra Supermarket, Opposite Better House, or contact us on 0274-666-444. Assalamu alaikum. Man online and Sadaka Wells Project Akabo ni tutu e bura head in su ko bebia in suni e won krasia en kronke tu em bekaya mu nyun tu sana mui en fan sisi ye ahira en ni ye janna dan kwama wu pensu ewa wa kura u kro u muslimin tna bi ebia ana u pese u yi bi bwe jume di in swa Fre zero five five zero nine three three one 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 Netin Trimu Insha Allah. What we all need is water for life